Come on with me as I make a locally forged arrangement in Alaska while visiting family. This was an incredible trip of a lifetime. Absolutely stunning flora, fauna, and everything in between. So I went out into the, the front and backyard of uh, my cousin's home where we were staying and was able to find raspberries, these incredible garden roses and everything in between. I used actually the the um, yellowing kind of fall greenery from the raspberries that I liked. It was a yellow green. Brought everything into the kitchen and started arranging in a vintage vase. And so here what I'm doing is just placing kind of that base, that fuller base of those raspberry greens um, that are kind of turning yellow for fall, which I just thought was amazing. Look at those crazy thorns on those garden roses. That was definitely something I had to kind of watch out for. There was also some really beautiful just dried grasses, yarrow. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm taking off just those, those bottom kind of greenery pieces making sure everything can fit in the vase really nicely. Here, what I'm doing is I'm, um, you know, assessing as I do, if you've seen other videos of mine, the kind of length and dimension that I want for this arrangement here. I want to kind of have almost like a V design as I'm working. And so I don't want things to be too much taller than the height of the vase. So like doubling that height, um, more or less is kind of what I always recommend, especially if you're newer, um, to floral design, then I'm kind of filling out that center lower, um, area in the center of the vase. Again, taking off any greenery or bits that are on the bottom, cutting it at 45 degree angle, placing those stems inside that pretty vintage vase. And here we are with some of those white um, flowers. Again, I had some yarrow. There were some other really cool, um, they almost honestly looked like almost like a weed or like a little wildflower. And what I love about that is that everything just grows so prolifically in Alaska. It's like there's nearly 24 hours of sunlight. So everything just grows so well and abundantly. And that was fun to see for me coming from a place like Florida, right? Where we have very different climate. Um, but at the same time, there were things that stayed the same. And I, I liked experimenting with that too. It was really fun. So here I'm taking off again, taking off that greenery. This also, when you take off greenery, really helps with vase life. It helps keep the water cleaner for longer and helps the flowers last longer. Uh, there in the background, some of the family came up to say hi while I was arranging this. And that was really the purpose of this for me was to be able to have something beautiful that we could have on the dining room table while we're visiting our family. And so that really meant a lot to me. Um, I liked the very fall undertones here of that yellow, orange, green, and, and brown. But then I also found some of these colorful blooms, these purples. There were just a few purples and pinks left in the yard. And I thought that was a really wonderful nod to kind of, you know, late summer, early fall. There again, I'm showing you that shape. I'm adding the final pink accent of those roses. I had a few more that I'll add in um, after the fact here. You'll see once I put it on the table, but I just loved how this came out. It's very natural, very wild, very uh, a very big nod to the season, right? There's that little raspberry at the end I love too. So I can't wait to hear what you think in the comments. Look out for more fall related um, arrangements coming soon and subscribe for more, of course, as always. Thanks so much.